Warning, the following content contains sounds. It has been shown that some sapiens of the Homo have episodic memory towards some sounds. Therefore, forming a bad reaction to certain sounds. Nevertheless, the sounds we use are only to mock actions and notions, which are, of course, ridiculous. We are not mocking the people who have them. No, 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 because you know in time you may change what you do and change what you think. Having said that, this is a correlation sensation, a show where I talk about your mother's mammalian protuberances. Yes, yes. They come in all sorts of shapes, colors and textures and smells. But of course, we will proceed to something more important. And now, for the moment nobody has been waiting for, it's the last bit of our stuff. Walk, jump on the door, and fly, from Quarantine Sensation, episode 23, the last of the Mohicans, is that racist? No, 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 anyways, yes, the last of the Mohicans, episode 23. I have uh, something very, very serious to tell you people. Being really close. My mother, she made me uh, mash my M&Ms. That motherfucker. Yes, my mother is a motherfucker. She's gonna use those M&Ms for uh, John Papanito. But before we embark, we may be barking up the wrong tree, folks. Aristotle, he seems to be far from the right sense of understanding. On that note, I'm going to go into this book by Aristotle, yes. So, the book is called De Anima. Here we go, quote, part one. Holding as we do that while knowledge of any kind is a thing to be honored and prized. One kind of it may either by reason of its great exactness or of a higher dignity and the greatness, wonderfulness in its objects be more honorable and precious than another. On both accounts, we should naturally be led to a place in the front rank the study of the soul. Okay. Onward, old begs. The knowledge of the soul admittedly contributes greatly to the advance of truth in general, and, above all, to our understanding of nature, for the soul is in some sense the principle of animal life. Our aim is to grasp and understand, first, its essential nature, and secondly, its properties. Of these, some are taught to be affection or proper to the soul itself, while others are considered to attach to the animal owing to the presence with it of soul. Aristotle. I would like to warn the listener that uh, what one may call knowledge, you know, another may easily call a doctrine. You know, you know who you are. You know who they are. Yes, maybe. You know, knowing one portion of an angle on a topic is sometimes hoisted up in the air in a formation for a bias. Perceptual attention of blindness to seek out that correlation sensation you desire. You know, when you think you got something and you understand it, you get this dopaminergic release and then you seek that out. Yes. Then Aristotle continues to speak upon the elusive nature of the soul. Oh, I wonder why. This is a point in the book where Aristotle expresses 
that this is the primary reason why one must form a special method in order to capture the nature of the soul. Ooh. He asks a lot of questions about the soul. You know, whether or not the soul has a specific unit of measurement for it, whether or not it's movement, whether or not it has many parts or it's one, and whether or not the soul is the same for each and every animal, dependent upon the structure for the difference. Aristotle pointed out then that uh, the soul is what brings about animated objects, you know, animals. So he's like, why do they talk only about the human soul? Then he inquired if uh, we needed different formulas for each animal soul. It got a little bit funny there. Then, when he was talking about whether or not the soul has many pieces, he wanted to know if uh, they differentiate between each other in form and if they are connected or not connected to the body. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hmm. Oh, oh yeah. Supposed to call someone. Hey, this is John Papanito. Hey, how's it going there, buddy? Ah, uh, you know, I just, uh, pop a needle in around. Oh, what's that like? You know, it's great, because I'm a John Papa Needle, and I'm a great. Oh, you know what else is great? What else is a great? This a book by Aristotle. What is it about, this Aristotle a book? It's about the soul. The soul, like, of the shoe? No, it's the, this thing, you know, that's very elus elusive, but they talk about a lot. Okay, you telling me more? Is John Papalino, he tell you if he thinks it's true, or if you're making it up. Okay. So, Aristotle describes the soul as the mind here. And he uh, uses a, a very similar analogy to the mind kind of like Plato did with his chariot analogy. Yeah, are you familiar with the chariot analogy? I like the chariot, it was on top of the, you know, banana split. Oh, no, this is the chariot. The chariot, yeah, chariot. You know, like with the horses pull, I see that movie Ben and Her, he draw a chariot and he do a very good job. He like fight with it and stuff. He do what? He fought with his chariot. He's a Ben Hur. Does he have like one a naughty horny horse? He didn't want a good steed. I don't really know. Yeah, that's a uh, Plato's analogy is you have a ignoble breed horse and a noble breed horse. He didn't like the mind is like the driver. Oh, I see. So the mind is the driver of a chariot. And the chariot eat the body? Uh, yeah, he didn't go that far. Oh, I confused him. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he didn't really go that far on that. No, so has actually been like something most people talk about in, uh, metaphysical ways. Or poetry, like Homer. Homer? You know, I've seen the Homer on the sheep scenes. Oh, that's not the same one. Okay. Yeah. That dude wrote a lot of poetry way back in the day. Oh, he wrote the Iliad, right? And the Odyssey. Yeah, 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 yeah. That oh, one. Yeah, yeah. John Papa Nito, he read the Odyssey. He talking about this Oedipus guy, and Oedipus, he wanna fucking his mom. What? Oh, you know, you know, do the dirty, but to his mommy. That's really weird. You read a book about weird dudes. You ever hear about uh, Plato's book, Phaedrus? Phaedrus? Phaedrus. Hydrus? Oh, Phaedrus. No, I haven't heard of that. Oh, he talked about the, you know, master 
in the pupil, you know, little boy, old man, pedophilia kind of stuff. Oh, that is a really gross book. Why is the old dude touching a young boy? Why does the young boy let the old dude touch him? Who is right and who is wrong? I don't know. It just is. Which one has a soul and which one doesn't? Oh, I think according to Aristotle, they all have a soul. How can you have a soul if you let an old man touch you? And how can you have a soul if you touch a younger boy? Uh, well, I don't know. No, I don't know either. I was hoping you were going to tell me because you read a book about our souls. You know, Plato talk about how, you know, if you do bad things, then your soul ends up getting trapped in conflict with itself. He's like soul on soul? I don't know, it's like mano y mano. Soul on a soul. Uh, what? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he uh, does his analogy here. And he says, uh, you know, like mathematics is to understanding geometric dimension, understanding the mind and sensation is how, you know, it is for understanding the soul. So you say you take the mind to understand the soul? Yeah, that's what Aristotle says. Okay. And then he uh, says, in order to uh, argue anything, you have to use the corollaries to the mind, hence the soul. Otherwise, you're just making shit up. So, if you just say stuff and it doesn't come from the soul, it's a making it up? No. I'm confused. No, if he says a stuff, you know, related to the mind, you know, the effects of the mind on the body, stuff like that. Okay. And then what happens? Well, that's how you uh, formulate a way to understand the soul. Do they leave the shire? I read a book once, they left a shire, and they got good when they leave a shire. What? You know, they go fight, orcs, goblins, you know. What does that have to do with Aristotle? Well, you said, you know, that's uh, what happened. I just want to know if his book, uh, if it had to do with other stuff. No, 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 no. He had no goblins in the source. You're a soul goblin. <laughs> What? So, you say that the mind is a controlled by the soul and the soul is a controlled by the mind? No, no, that, uh, let's, we getting ahead of ourselves, so let's uh, continue on this one. Okay, you talk about it, that one. I want to understand what you talk about. John Papa Nito, he need to know, because you're talking crazy talk. Oh, one moment. I got to check out the bread. I have some bread in the oven. I don't know what that means. Okay, got to back here. Okay. To record. Then, uh, this point, Aristotle, he starts talking about, you know, if thinking requires imagination, then, uh, Thinking requires the body. Wait a minute. So your body it require his imagination requires the body? I guess so. He didn't specify though. Yeah. Then he said if the soul can act on its own due to a stimulus for any reason, he then says that the body can exist outside of the soul. Oh no, the soul can exist outside the body. So you say, if the soul can do whatever it want, it only needed the body? Yeah, and you said this would be a grounds for the soul to take vacations from the body and then come back whenever it shall please. What, what, what would the soul be doing without the body? 
I don't know, going to on vacation or something. And then he says, then uh, he says you'll have uh, animals rising from the dead if the soul can survive without the body. But that doesn't make sense. Well, we don't have it that, so therefore it can have had it. Yeah, maybe. And this, animal, and this animal don't have a soul, but then we'd have a people rising from the dead like a zombie. So if, if this guy was a rat, we would have a lot of zombies. Well... I kind of like what Aristotle said about animals. We are animals. I'm not an animal. I'm John Papadito. Yeah, so, so is Gus the dog. Don't you call me a dog? No, 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 no. I'm saying, you know, Gus the dog has a name too. Just don't name your dog and it don't have a soul? Is that what you say? Well, I don't know. Why'd you emphasize? Why'd you emphasize your John Papa Needle? You, you're not the animal. I'm a John Papa Needle. Don't you tell me what I am. Hey. I know. Hey, do you, do you defecate? Everybody a poop. Jesus Christ, they wrote a goddamn book on it. John Papa Needle, he saw the book. It talks about people going poop. Everybody poop is what it's called. If you read it, it's got to be true. That means you're an animal. You know, I don't know if you know what you're talking about. What? You can't reproduce? You don't have all the, the properties of animals? We don't reproduce. We got stuck in these bodies by the Captain Coach Gravela. Oh, I thought they made, I thought they made the, you know, the squiggly things go. No? I don't know what you're talking about. You know. The squiggles. The squiggles in your milk. Uh, you don't have a squiggles in my milk. That would mean the milk is bad and you don't want to drink it. No, your man milk. Milk is coming from a cow or a female titty. That don't come from a man. Hey, Stella guy, he got you all turned around. Man milk. Yeah, so Aristotle then says some nonsense about how, uh, you know, a physicist would describe, you know, getting emotional as your blood boiling, while a dialectician somehow would describe you as getting angry and wanting vengeance. Nowadays, it seems like the scientist would, like, you know, describe it as you want vengeance, and now some kind of metaphorical hoodoo hoodoo would say blood boiling. That's very interesting. Yeah. Why do you think it backwards? Because, you know, that warm feeling you get when you get really, really mad. Oh, yeah. I like it. You get a sore man, you break a stuff, and then you feel better. Oh, yeah. Some Papa Nero, he like I get pissed off. Yeah. So, also, uh, on part two, Aristotle opens up the book talking about how, you know, we need to understand the good things that were, you know, taught and learned by the predecessors and understand the errors so you don't repeat them. Oh, yeah. That's a good, good, good call. You know, because uh, the only way to predict the future is to look at the past. What? The only way to predict the future is to look at the past. Yeah. So, you gotta learn from other people's mistakes so you don't fuck it up. Oh. This is the reason why uh, Aristotle goes into talking about the previous people who talk about the soul. Like uh, one named Democritus, another named Empedocles, and then, you know, of course, the Plato man, because Plato was his teacher. Tell me about this Empedocles. Yeah, he, uh, he kind of helped perpetuate the idea of cardiocentric theory. You ever heard of this? I do cardio at the gym that stops me from getting a fat. Huh. You'll be a cardiocentric if all you do is a cardio. Well, this is more like your mind is in your heart. But that don't make a sense. My mind is in my head. My heart is in my butt. That's a, 
That's very interesting, John Papanito. How do you know the heart is in your butt? Because, you know, that's where all the pounding happens. In the butt. He makes a pounding noise. You know, the gum, the gum, John Papanito, he, he had that in the butt. So, you know, yeah, his heart is in the butt. I should not have asked. Well, if you don't know, you gotta ask. Brother. You call me pervert. You're the one asking about butts. Ah. You know what, ya? Uh, what? what? I was asking about the heart. It's in the butt. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... This other critter named Democritus, he uh, thought the same way about the heart. Although he said so. No, 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 no. He knows it's in the butt. I have a feeling many of them did. Good. A bunch of all the Greek dudes. The Greek dudes, I think they like it in the butt. That's why they put a heart there. Yeah. So, oh, let you, you to the heart, let, it's in the butt. Let you think that uh, your heart is in the butt. You do what you want. I'll do what I want. Okay. Now, yeah, go into how Democritus talked about something very interesting, along with the Pythagoreans. They thought those little specks in the light you can see coming through the window in your room. Dust? Yeah, they called them atoms. Well, this is a, they're just trying to explain everything. They're just making stuff up. Yeah. Well, I, I get... call those dust. Those are fairies. I got fairies in my window. John Papa, you know, he think that the dust is a fairies. Oh, yeah? Can I write a book? Hmm. Yeah, you might as well. So I, I think this is what uh, where the name Atom comes from anyways. But they pointed out something very interesting, is that, hey, you do require to breathe. Although they thought it was to inhale the dust particles, it's to get something else. Apparently, that's why we need to breathe. So they think that you need to breathe in the dust? That's what they thought. Well, now, we gotta wear masks. John Papa Nino, he go to the store and they say, you wear a mask or you can't come in the store. So John Papa Nito, he wear a mask. And now the dust, he don't get in his lungs. He wrong. He's got wrong. Oh, I bet you still get some dust. Skin flakes. It's my dust. Yeah. I That's... can't live off myself. I gotta eat the food. So it don't make a lot of sense. You gotta bring stuff in. You can't just keep eating yourself. Yeah, yeah. You got uh, you got that one right, buddy. Yeah, so Aristotle thought this was wrong because uh, other forms of many animals appear to not breathe, specifically fish, you know, even though they're so... They got their gills. Yeah, he didn't yeah. realize that. He's busy talking about a dust. You don't realize fish have a gill? Yeah. This guy not very observant. Yeah, I know. Yeah, what really kills me is that the Aristotle... He starts talking about all these things about the soul. You know, if it is like a quality, then it will be like straightness and it can't exist without the body. He seems to lean towards that one. So wait a second. Huh? The, soul needed, the soul needed the dust, yeah? I guess. I don't know. He was talking about Democritus and Pythagoreans. Oh, okay. I was confused because he was going to say that if the fish can't breathe, then they don't get in the dust, and then they don't have a soul. So fish don't have a soul, but they're animal. No, that's why he dismissed it. Oh, okay. Because he's a fish have a soul because they're animals. Soul is also a type of fish. Really? Yeah, you eat it. Oh, really? Is it kind of like the heart in their butt? I think you would misunderstand. That a soul is a type of fish. And my butt 
It's where my heart is. This guy. No, no, I understand you loud and clear, buddy. Okay. But, buddy. I'm not your butt, buddy. We are not bosom pals. Well, whatever you say, butt buddy. My uh, butt buddy, you. Don't pop a little. He don't like to be called a butter buddy. So do you pop a John's knee in your toe? Papa John knee toe. That's my name. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone, John Papa Nito Blow. You put your knee on your toe. Knee toe. Oh no. It's John Papa Nito. That's, that's my name. What is this guy talking about? Yeah, so when Aristotle started talking about Plato, he started talking about how, you know, Reality is like the monad, or soul is like the monad, yeah. So... The monad? You talk about a monad like it's something important. Yeah. Yeah, you ever heard of a don't get kicked in your monads? Oh, no. No. You don't want to get kicked I'm, in the monads. I'm not a monad. Yeah, Google says it's the supreme being. The, the, the monad? Oh, don't tell Captain Grass Club about that. Yeah, sometimes my monads, sometimes my monads itch. You are such scratchy your monads, it itch. Yeah, right now. That's a good, that's a good. That means you're working properly. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so my supreme close. monads. It's too close to your heart. If you scratch it too much, it'll hurt your heart. Oh, really? Well, I'll keep that in mind next time I'm uh, having my butt pounding. Oh yeah, you look at the butt pounding. Back to topic. So there's another word called dyad. Googly tits showed me some ads for some shoes. And then I looked a little bit further down. And dyad is kind of like, you know, the dual relationship. That's a funny. You tap something in that's intellectual. And some clown comes along and puts some money in the pocket of the googly teeth, and he's the thing comes first. Even though he's the thing is a stupid, and the other thing could be important. Yeah. So, you say, if you have a lot of money, you can tell people what is important, even when it's not important. Right. You know, that's a stupid. Advertisement. That's a stupid. You know, it's like a people on a YouTube. They make a lot of money because they bought a thingy and they open a box. And people watch them open the box and they think, oh, I'm going to go buy that thingy. And then they sell more thingies. So the first person who opened the box, he get a lot of money because they put it on the YouTube. That's a stupid. They make no fucking sense. You're right. Who is his tail? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, dyad is like knowledge. Because you need knowledge to understand the reality or your soul. Oh, I had the triad once. I got the gonad, too. Really? The gonad, the monad, the dyad, and the triad. Whoa. There's a lot of ads in here. Yeah, there's no ads in this podcast. That's good. You want to know why? Because an ad... We'll take away from the pocket. You think? It wouldn't add to it. <laughs> Jump up, you know, he make a funny. What's so funny? Add. Add, add what? To. Add pocket. to pocket. You should put an ad in there. No, they we spelled should, the word differently, the though. We can put, we can sell all kinds of stuff to the podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can we sell diapers. Stuff. We can sell a diaper. You know, there's going to be a lot of babies soon. You think? A lot of diapers. A lot oh, of yeah. COVID babies. 
well, not a COVID baby. People at home, they're doing the butt pounding with the hearts, and they're making a baby, and boom. That's how they reproduce? Butt pounding. Yeah. Baby come out of the butt. Then what is that slit thing for? You mean I've been doing it wrong the entire time? I think we should go back to the topic. You are a strange dude. So Aristotle essentially dismisses the idea of soul being movement. But sometimes they say soul moves you. So I think, you know, they put some more thought into it after he dismissed it. And now it's okay. Because if you play some good music, it moves your soul. And then you might have danced. And some people dance are really funny and a whole lot of movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Aristotle said, because if soul is mind, and that's what he thought, then uh, you wouldn't want your mind to moving around all the time. It'd be distracting. My mind is always a wandering. Ah. He also said that soul is nothing like a circle, like some people have said. Wait, soul circle? Yeah. I think that was a bead. Was it a bead? I don't know. I don't know. What are you talking about? Soul circle. Soul cycle. That's the way the people, they get into a room and they sweat. Well, I and thought that was like hot trouble. cycle. Hot cycle. I don't know what that is. Soul cycle. He get, soul cycle was so upset because of the coronavirus. He went to talk to the blonde Cheeto and the blonde Cheeto said, we should open up a soul cycle. It's a good for companies. It's a good for economy. We should let people get sick in the soul cycle. See, Ron Cheeto, he doesn't want people to get a sick so they die. He can take their stuff. He a terrible person. Go take their stuff. Ron Cheeto. What do you like, mean? He wants people to go to soul cycle. And then they, they get sick from the coronavirus. Your roommate. Well, I don't know. Yeah, he was in the news. He was on phone with the owner of Soul Cycle, and he got off the phone, and he says, we need to open up Soul Cycle. He did the same thing with the sporting events. He on the phone with people who own football and baseball teams and basketball teams, and they said, we need to have people in the arena so we can make money off of these people. We don't care if they get sick. We just want their money. And he says, Oh, we need to open it up. It's good. It's good for coronavirus to have a baseball and a basketball and a football. Sports is stupid. People just go there and they act stupid. Wow. Cheeto, he just want people to die so he can take their stuff. Back to topic. So, Aristotle kind of pissed me off. What he do? Did he touch your butt? No, he thought the brain was a cooling chamber for the blood. Oh yeah, because when your blood boils, it goes all the way to your brain. And then it gets cold when it comes back down. Oh it yeah, yeah, that's exactly how it works. It's like a radiator. You see it's got all those grooves in there? You should cut off with your head next time you see the grooves. Oh yeah, yeah, make a make good idea. Yeah. Yeah, he also said the brain is not attached to the body like the heart is. Well, that's just wrong. He needs to cut open a more body before he makes that claim. Yeah. But then he started talking about, you know, how if you cut a worm in half, it still moves. And he's like, well, the brain is on one part and the body still moving, so the brain can't have anything to do with the mind. That's a really confusing. Yeah, he was confused. That must have been the day he took opioids. What? He was eating the poppy seeds. You think so? Oh, yeah. You can't sit around all day and not a hook about nothing unless you're eating something like poppy seeds or mushrooms. Oh. Huh. Like shiitake? I don't shit on talking at the same time. You don't? You gotta concentrate. Otherwise, your heart will leave your body. So, you think you, uh, will, uh, shit out your heart? That's the topic. So, yeah. That's basically, uh, 
All of the book, yeah. He thought the brain was a cooling chamber, the mind was in the, the heart, and that's about it. He writes about nothing, nothing of importance. Somebody, they like to, they like to think away their heart, and that's when they wind up with a woman that's no good for them. And then they wind up with the babies they don't need or want, because they're thinking with their heart, with the penis. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I see it on the TV. Really dumb people think with their heart or with their penis, and then we get more really dumb people because they're the only ones that are reproducing. Hmm. They want a documentary about it. It was called, it was called Stupid or something. John Papadino, he see that every day. More and more people are dumb. Wow. And more and more dumb people making the babies. So, they gotta be thinking with the wrong part of their body, their butts, and the PNS. You think so? Oh yeah. Wow. John Papadino, he think that this is the way it is. You can see it. You just watch the people, the way they walk around, and they do stupid stuff, take a selfies, like it's important. The people, they think of that a whole life has to be in a photograph. Life move, photograph adorned, so your life cannot be in a photograph. You just remember what you did. Be there. Stop taking so many photographs, because people don't really give up. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can make a lot of sense. Yeah, I didn't really want to go over this book. Didn't you want to bore anybody. But you read the book. I read you some of it. Oh. You take a note? Yeah. Then I kind of just summed it all up really quick. So what you say is this book was so boring, you didn't even want to give a full summary. No, no, because although like Democritus understood, you know, you know, the, uh, how atoms move around no matter what and all, the, all over the place, he didn't really understand it. He just happened to be correct about something. You think he just got lucky? Perhaps. I mean, that's, isn't that like the most common reason why people discover stuff? He's called a serendipity. Yeah, serendipity. I can see, you know, you guess enough, and eventually you're going to be right. Yeah, especially if you send a spend a bunch of years working on it. Oh, yeah. You take a good drugs, and you come up with some crazy shit that happens to be real. Yeah. I think that's what he did. I bet he took a lot of really good drugs. Because mm. he didn't know they were drugs. Oh, yeah, you didn't, you didn't know? I don't think they knew. They just knew it made them feel good. I don't know. I think they would have talked about it more. It was normal. It was like... Hot in the butt. That's what it was like. Normal. John Papanito, I don't... Don't know what to say to you. I don't think you understand. I know what my heart is. Don't you tell me I don't. Okay. You you know your heart is in your butt. That's a good place to keep it too. I don't know. If you put all that weight on it, it might burst. Well, but nobody else will go near the butt. Because it's a bad place. Oh, well, you go to prison here, you uh, you'll be wrong about that one. Your I don't know. Your heart will be pounding. Jump up and you know, he don't go to prison. Well, I'm just saying, if you did, go, well, you know. I go to the ladies' prison. John Papadino, he goes to the ladies' prison. There's no butt pounding in the ladies' prison. Oh. You don't think they fist each other? Wait, only if they have consent. You think so? Oh, yeah, I watched the Orange is the New Black. Oh, you think that's accurate? They're teaching me everything I need to know about a lady prison. Oh, okay. What they teach you? You know, make friends, do crafts, be good at cooking, be nice to one another, 
We'll all be friends. Oh. Don't drink at the toilet wine. No, why not? Because it's being in a toilet. Duh. Oh, what's wrong with that? Back to topic. So I guess another thing I could talk about is how Empedocles and Plato said, like is known by like. The reason why you sense things is because, you know, you have those elements inside your body. Uh, you know what? I, I agree with that. You know, it's like take one to know one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, in order to know what a plutonium is, you have to have it in your body? Oh, no, you know, like, not, not, not right there, but like, if someone is being a butthead, and you know they're being a butthead, it's because you are also a butthead. Oh, like projecting. I don't know about no projector. Or coming out sideways. I don't know about coming sideways. I come straight ahead. Oh, you don't? It's where you lay on your side, on on your bed. I don't uh, think you would lay on the bed that way. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, you should do it. Okay, I'll try that. It'll really get your heart pumping. Lay on the bed sideways. It could be good. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, back to the topic. Yeah, and then uh, Aristotle said, you know, in Plato's God must be very ignorant because, you know, God isn't uh, made out of all these elements, you know. Well, God is in a real, so he can't be made out of anything. Yeah, that's what I think too. I haven't uh, found any any uh, God at all. And I'm starting to doubt this soul exists. Oh, you know the soul is uh, not really there, because we live where the soul is. That's what the Captain Grouch Gobbler told me. They take the soul out, and they put us in, and then we take the body. Did he tell you where? No, he just said the soul. You think he was just trying to pander to you? I don't know. I don't really listen to that guy. Whoa. Maybe that's why you were so successful. John Papa Nino live in a basement. I don't know if that's very successful. Oh, you could be in worse places. Oh, yeah. You could live in a red state. That would be a bad place. You are... What, what, uh, he's in Nebraska, one of those? No. Nebraska has a two states in one, really. He's got the normal state, which is like Omaha. It's where people who don't think of themselves as better than other people live. And then it's got the rest of the state, which is a bunch of hillbilly farmers. Huh. That's a very interesting take. Oh, and dig this. So, every state, it has a two Senate members. So, you have a state with not very many people, has two Senate members, has the same number of votes as a state like California, it has a whole mess of people. So, now, one vote in one of these little EBA know-nothing states has more power than one vote in California. That's why the cities are so backwards, because it's run by the ignorant and the people who don't understand the world, because they're too busy living in their small, poor, states. Oh. It is so wrong. These views are not condoned by correlation sensation. They are those only of John Papanito. John Papanito has a spoken. Yeah, direct all your hate mail towards John Papanito. John Papanito, he take a hate mail and put it in his heart. Right to the heart. That's where the hate mail go. You gonna wipe your heart with it? You can't wipe your heart. It's inside the bud. Jeez. This guy. You said, it, but you said the mail will go to the, you know, the heart. Well, it's a head mail. It goes right to the heart, the soul. Maybe that's where the soul is. Maybe we leave it the heart, so we in the bud. We control the whole body from the bud. Ah. Maybe if you think about it the way we are built and not the way the human is built, these guys got something right. Yeah, I got the question. 
Aristotle an had. Answer. What? I don't have an answer. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, Aristotle talked about two types of animals. You have the blooded and non-blooded. And Aristotle is talking about the heart being where the soul is. But it had a lot to do with the blood. So what he's saying about the bloodless animals? They must not have a soul. But he said all animals have soul. This is why I think he doing some drugs, because he don't remember what he wrote, and then he writes something different and kind of different in the same book. I don't know. I think if anybody wrote a big book, especially several like he did, there'd be times where he changed his mind and forget about the previous book he wrote about. Well, he should address that in the new book. Once he writes, his readers will get upset and won't know what's going on. Maybe. It's not like the Bible that way. Nah. Yeah, maybe. You know, the Bible got a lot of stories that contradict one another, but people still hold on to that like it's important. That book will cause a so much trouble. Oh, yeah, all over salt, too. Oh, oversold, oversold. Yeah, so for this soul, Aristotle had nothing to do with neuroscience. He had nothing to do with the brain. He look at the butt and the soul. Bastard. Ah. This bastard took up all his time, all these episodes. Man, I want to travel back there and go kick his ass. You do it. I'm yeah. going to stay here. I'm going to know. petition to Cap Captain Grouch Gablu. Time is really great, you know. This yeah. time of the world is really great time. We get to see a lot of interesting things. Should I help that palpate his anymore. heart? Oh, yeah. Go do that. Yeah. I'll go do that. Uh, you have a good one. I'll see you next week. Okay. You tell me how your trip will go, and I'll be here. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Now I call Void. Hey, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Oh, you know, I just got off the phone with John Papanito again. Oh, cool. Was he being a butthole again? You wouldn't guess what he was talking about. Okay, hold on. I got to go plug in my phone. It's a little low. I'll be right back in like a second. I'm still going to keep talking. Uh, Is there? Oh, excuse you. Yeah, yeah. He thought the heart was in the butt. Oh, wow. What's the butt in? Huh? What's the butt in? What? What's the butt in? I, I don't understand. I was making a joke. Oh. Ha, 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 ha. What? His brain was in his ass. Oh no, his heart. Because his heart, his uh, his butt is always pounding. Okay. And he talks uh, a lot about the politics and stuff. Ugh. Oh. Like, oh my God, I don't want to piss anybody off. He's in all these generalizations. Oh my goodness. I was thinking, oh boy, where's Void when you can want to talk to him right now, yeah. So you know Aristotle is a bastard? Why do you say that? Are he over here wasting my time? People say he's a brilliant homo sapien. Next thing I know... I find out he got all these wrong perceptions. He thinks the brain is a cooling chamber for the blood. Oh. Yeah. He also thinks the brain not connected to the rest of the body. And he thought like the front part of the skull is where the brain is and the back part of the skull is empty. I don't know. Maybe... What? 
I was gonna say maybe he doesn't have the capacity to think beyond himself. Well, it's not that hard. You go down to the morgue and you cut open a body. You say, I am the great Aristotle, I know Alexander the Great, and for knowledge, I want to crack open his head. Could he maybe have had older bodies that maybe the brain decayed and weren't there anymore? Hmm. Maybe. I didn't read anything about him dissecting anything. Maybe well, he did, but I'm not reading any more from this damn sapien of the homo. I want to move on to something more of sustenance, you know, like Herophilus and Erisistratus. Yeah, I didn't even read all my notes. I just kind of like took out the highlights from my notes and said, yeah, he basically thought this. He talked about that for the first book, at least, of De Anima. There's three books of that damn thing. And he goes back and forth, you know, about something that is, for some reason, so elusive, like this all. So, uh, what else was he saying? Hello? Uh, well, he talked about, you know, Empedocles and Plato, where they thought, you know, like knows like. And then John Papanito was talking about how, you know, that's kind of like, you know, you have to be what you know. Ah, uh, yes. And I was like, how do you know? I was like, oh, I don't understand why, why would anybody have deductive reasoning then? Hey, you know, this one dude named Democritus thought that the specks in the air were atoms. That's what he oh. called them. Dang. What was that? You got toaster? Chicken dinner? That's a roll. Ah, uh, random text. Don't know who it is. Random? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah, speaking of which, so these atoms were always moving around even when everything in the room was silent. You know, it was still. The funny thing is, he was right, but he was wrong of what they were. They yeah. Were because everything is made of atoms. So he was correct by default, but those weren't the exact thing. And what's even crazier is he was like, well, because, you know, atoms are always moving, so they have to be spherical in shape. And it's like, wow, he was so correct, yet so wrong. Yes. He was like, well, whoa. The thing is, they're, they're, atoms are never really touching. They're just how close they are together, how small they are. Yeah. You know, I wanted to say if there was anything as soul, it would have to be made out of something that's real. And everything is made out of the same stuff, so everything would be made out of the same soul. So we're all one soul. Made of stardust, yes, I've heard that before. Yeah, or well, magical what? spaghetti monster. Yeah, we heard of uh, Big Bang, and there was center of the universe. Every single molecule came from that center. Yeah. But we don't know as before. We could have been one of God's farts. Yeah, farts. I just can't wait to talk about something more about neuroscience, goddammit. It's like, why even have his name up, Washington E.D.U.? You have Aristotle up here, He's thinking nonsense about the brain and the mind. Think of it this way. For someone to be right, someone has to be wrong. Because then they form the question to figure out the truth. Well, I mean, they had people who were right and wrong all throughout Aristotle's time period, before and after. They were always arguing. Always arguing. All these damn sapiens of the homo, always arguing. It seems like we lost John Papanito, too. He's really heavily into that whole thing where he thinks he knows what he talk about all the time. Oh. Try to tell him, no, that's not where the heart is. The heart is not in your butt. He's just going on believing that. The thing is, we're smart enough to know that we may not always be correct. Mm, yeah. Hey, so what you doing? You are going to come over this weekend? Uh, we have no. cookout. No. Come on, buddy. Corona died. He got the UV on him. He drank, just drinking UV blue. 
Yeah, I did that. That didn't work. I even put it in his dog bowl. Then he told me he wasn't a flipping dog. Then he pissed inside of my bowl. And I said, that's my bowl. He said, I know. And I was like, but uh, you better, better not do that. And then he asked me, or what? And I said, I do this, and I open up a blind. He ran away, then I opened up all the windows one day because I ran out of electricity. Can't pay the bill. Next thing I know, I thought I saw a pile of shit that Corona left, but apparently that must have been Corona. You there? Yeah, I was just thinking about what you said. What's there to think about? What that pile was. It was a pile of Corona. He oh. shriveled up looking like, like dehydrated. What's that one big fat worm do? Jabba the Hutt, yeah. Dehydrated Jabba the Hutt. Maybe I should, maybe I should clean him up. Oh, get the pooper scooper. Yeah, or just get the shovel. So yeah. you, you ready to study? I think I might be able to do a three-way call with you and John Papanito. Ah, uh, this weekend. Okay. Uh, I am uh, off Saturday, but probably around three or four would be good. Okay. I can talk to uh, John Papanito and see what he thinks. Yeah, because I uh, I have early workout morning and then that and then normally done at one, but any time in between that, then that would be good. And I can even be later if it needs to be. Okay. We'll do that. Don't forget. Research here of Phyllis and uh -huh. here's Stratus. All right. Okay. You stay safe. You too. Okay. Bye. And there you have it. That's basically all you need to know about Aristotle. Basically everything. Son of a bitch. Here is the guitar player from Escape Cult with something else. Yeah. Oh, don't forget to check Escape Code out. They're pretty good. If you like the podcast, please follow us on Twitter or Instagram. I don't even know if my account on Facebook is up anymore. But you stay safe. Because it's spooky out there. You might get gobbled up by the big hairy bunghole. <laughs>